first. Are you ready to lose, Kakarot? We'll see about that, Vegeta. <laughs> Perfect, I'm going all out too. <laughs> Just try to hit this! Don't you dare miss, Goku! Humiliate him, Vegeta! <laughs> Hey, welcome everybody to the three-way podcast hum day show. Uh, I am your host today, Los, aka Public Enemy 59. Follow my ass on Twitch. Uh, and I am here with my friend, aka best friend, aka uh, lover, uh, Justin. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Hey. <laughs> I don't know where where you're putting it, but he's somewhere here. Yes. Say what's up, Justin. Hey, what's up? It's good. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we are here for a special opening day episode for the MLB season 2019. It's finally here, baby. Finally here. I mean, no bias. You know, we're, we're, we're no bias here. No, no, not at all. No. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. But uh, we're very excited because the season, finally the baseball season is upon us. Um, we finally get to hit up some baseball games. Have some hot dogs, some beers. I just can't wait, man. Yeah. So, uh, opening uh, opening day is tomorrow. So today we're diving in depth into our predictions for the season. Uh, we're gonna basically give our uh, predictions for the um, uh, division winners. Then we'll go into our MVP predictions, and then we'll we'll talk about who we think is gonna win championships. I don't know. Who could it be? But uh, let's let's dive right in. Uh, <laughs> Let's dive right in. So uh, we're gonna start off with the NL, uh, and uh, you know, a lot of moves made this off season. Uh, a lot of extensions made this off season. Uh, I mean, we could talk for hours upon hours on all the deals that were made, but we're gonna jump right in and go right into the NL East. NL East. Um, we got the Braves, Marlins, Mets, Phillies, Nationals. You know, Nationals. They, you know, they they lost Bryce, <laughs> Mr. What America. Are they what, what do they have? I mean, so uh, Justin, who do you Lock think is gonna? That's what they got. <laughs> exactly. Who do you think is they're gonna end? Uh, who's gonna end up taking that division? You know, even though the the Nationals got rid of that Bryce Harper, I think they still are a pretty good contender. I mean, they didn't do so bad, mm -hmm. um, but uh, I think it's gonna be between the Phillies and the Nationals. Phillies and Nationals. Okay, yeah. so man, uh, crazy that. He went from the Nationals to the Phillies in division. Like, come on, the yeah. whole league wanted Dude, him. That's um, crazy. <laughs> crazy. Uh, Atlanta, uh, I believe, took that division um, uh, last year. They did. So, um, yeah, I feel the same. I feel like the addition of Bryce into that uh, Philadelphia team is going to just take him over that 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 top, that edge. Um, so, yeah, I'm going with Philadelphia. I really wanted Bryce. <laughs> uh, Mr. America in an orange, but you know whatever. You can't, you can't get everything yeah. you ask no, Apparently, for. he loves Philadelphia, so you know he wouldn't like to hear anyways. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I mean, good, good stuff. Good luck with all that snow over there, man. He would have been happy here with all this nice, hot, humid Maybe. weather. But whatever, whatever. All right. So Berlander we'll, loves it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, his woman loves it, so whatever. <laughs> um, uh, so now we'll jump into the NL Central. Um. You know, last year, um, I believe the, uh, the, the, the who took that uh, the Brewers, Milwaukee, yeah, kind of snuck out of nowhere. Uh, Chicago got in as a wild card, um, but big, you know, expectations out for Chicago. Uh, Cardinals uh, acquired um, what's his name? Dem Dem he has a Goldsmith, uh, who's one of the best players in the league, well, hitting wise. Um, so Cardinals made some good moves. Um, Cubs are trying to take that next step and win the division. Who do you think is going to end up taking? This? You know, I they the Cubs got rid of a few people that uh, I think is really going to just put them under that bar. I mean, they barely snuck in on that wild card. I didn't really see them take any big steps. You know, heavy hitters that I'm familiar with for them to really be doing anything this year. Um, you know, the Brewers. I mean, what was it? The Brewers and Rockies in the playoffs last year? Uh, uh, exactly, yeah. 
you know, I think the Brewers are are still pretty good contenders. They didn't let go of anyone yeah, too heavy, they, but they yeah, uh, they kept they, their guys. I and think, they got, I think uh, they're going to be pretty good. Christian Christian uh, Yelich, right? Who's like who was hitting really good all season and yeah. um, in the play in the playoffs too. He was just hitting well. The guy just yeah. hits. Yeah, so I, I'm I'm pushing for the Brewers. All right, so I am going for. One of the, you know, back in the day, the Astros' biggest rival, the uh, team that yeah. always got, took us out, um, even though I hate them, you know, with a passion, I feel like the addition of Goldsmith, I think they're trying to make some moves there. Uh, you know, they have that that history that's backing them up also. I, I, I'm going to go with St. Louis, man. I think the Cardinals, go ahead and take it. Um, I still think there might, there's for sure might be a wild card coming from this division. So I wouldn't be surprised if, the, you know, I, I, if Chicago gets up in there. But yeah, I'm going with St. Louis. Um, Good luck with that. <laughs> yeah. I don't, that was I two mean, years ago. <laughs> I, I, could care, I could care less. I mean, if, if the Cardinals <laughs> yes, are personal, dead last. If, if the Cardinals are dead last, trust me, I'll be happy too. Um, so NL West, we got Diamondbacks, Rockies, Dodgers, Giants, and the Padres, who just acquired big time. You know, at the time they signed them, the biggest deal ever in the MLB. Right. Then Bryce up that, and then Mike Trout up Trout that. Trout got so, on top of that one, yeah. Oh my yeah. God, way on top of that one. So, uh, yeah, who do you think takes this this division? You know, Machado is a, it's a pretty good asset. That's yeah. You know that yeah, yeah. that might put them up there as pretty good contenders. And no doubt, I, no doubt. If you're if you're looking at the Dodgers, got rid of some of their some of their guys. And um, they got some guys that are coming back from injuries. That so are they gonna? I mean, you know, when are they coming back? Are they gonna be ready when they come back? Are they gonna be right. playing to that caliber? You know, so. Yeah, you know, I think I think the Dodgers last year it was almost kind of a surprise. I think we all expected them to do almost just as well as they did. The, the previous year when they went up against us, the Astros, in the World Series. Uh, but, you know, they, they were kind of a letdown. They, they didn't have the chemistry. They had some issues. Uh, you know, I, I don't think the Dodgers are going to be a contender. I think it's going to be up to the Padres and the wow. Rockies. I think the okay. Padres, you know, Machado, it's kind of like the, the Harper and the Phillies thing. I mean, once you, you add that in, that gave them, it's going to give them a lot of confidence, a lot of momentum. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think the Padres might be able to contend but you know if i had to pick between padres and rockies you know i i might still stick with the rockies you know wow, <laughs> Rocky. okay. but but you know to me i don't think the dodgers are going to really do much in that, in that wow league. It, okay it's so pretty competitive it <laughs> is They're, they've had a pretty easy uh going these past couple of years getting to the championship now the the nl is stacking up right uh so now you got some more heavy hitters coming into that league but i i mean look man it's la they've done it the last two years i'm not gonna bet against it they got some some great players in that in that team and they i just feel like dodgers gonna take it now do it for sure there's another team coming out of here for the wild card and you're I, you know you called out the rockies i feel like that's yeah. A good feeling, Padres you know, too, with some uh, adding some great uh, firepower. So, two teams <laughs> coming out of this league for uh, for this division for sure. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go point. LA, man. I'm gonna get. That's I'm a good go point. LA. And I I agree that 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 division is gonna be the division where the wild card is gonna come out of. It's gonna be very entertaining to see yeah. Uh, yeah. who's gonna who's gonna win it out. So uh, we'll move on to the AL. Um, so let's start with the AL East. Uh, <laughs> one of the biggest divisions in baseball: uh, Red yeah. Sox, Orioles, Blue Jays, Rays, and Yankees. But all we really got to say is Red Sox and Yankees. Who do you think is yeah. going to take? <laughs> I mean, you know, if you follow the Yankees during spring training, you'd say it'd be the Yankees. I mean, they they oh, look man. strong. They look strong. Staten is just hitting bombs out of the park. Yeah. He looks like at a hundred percent and yeah. locked in. Like he looks at midseason form. So if he can keep it going, stay healthy, man. Yeah. Exactly. That's the key. That's the issue we saw with the Yankees last year. I was pushing for the Yankees. You know, I, I thought that they would get that next step up over the Red Sox, but they just kept getting injured. Aaron Judge. I mean, how many games did he really play? You know, I think with how strong they're looking, if they stay healthy, Yankees. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, obviously, the Red Sox, real strong contender. I mean, yeah, you know, they're we'll, trying we'll to go these other divisions. But I mean, if the Red Sox are as strong as they were last year, even if the Yankees are good, we might get two teams out of that division. Yeah, you're right, and uh, I feel the same way. Like, man, I feel that there's two teams coming out of that division. Um, I think, man, you're right. If the Yankees can can keep everybody in the lineup. It'll be even hard for the Red Sox. Mookie Betts up in there. You got the. I mean, man, so, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Mookie Betts. Uh, that that's still gonna keep the Red Sox up there. I'm, I'm not yeah, saying they yeah. at all, but the Yankees, if they stay healthy, they yeah, to, they got they, they got, got so much. Team. Yeah, 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 no doubt, no doubt. All right, <laughs> so AL Central, uh, we got the White Sox, the Indians, the Tigers, the Royals, and the Twins. Um. Last year it was the Indians who came out of that uh, that uh, division. A lot of people thought they were like basically going to take it all. They were ranked one number one throughout most of the season uh, because of their play. But come playoff time, you know they came up against the Astros and the Astros just just, just put a whooping on their boys. So uh, yeah, did, didn't live up to the hype because uh, all all of the season people thought they were just about to destroy it. But you know playoff is another season. It's another different kind of thing. It's another kind of game, and they just couldn't hold up. Um, but AL Central, who do you think? Who do you think comes out of there? You know, I, I think it's, it's still a pretty weak division. I mean, we saw some of the weakest teams in the whole league in that division. You're right. So, you're right. You know, the Indians, they made a lot of minor league team moves this year. Uh, so far, I think they, I think. They're still going to be a top contender in that division. Yeah, I really don't think anybody else in that division is going to exceed. I mean, I'd be surprised if any of these teams get over seventy-five wins. <laughs> I mean, you know, the Indians, Indians might, you know, but yeah, but these other teams, you know, it, last year it was just it was it was like watching an NL game for me. Like I, I just didn't. I, <laughs> I just, no, you're right. It, um, it was exciting. It, it, I think in all of baseball, this has to be one of the weakest divisions in there. It, for yeah. sure, I think the weakest. So, yeah, if Indians, they kind of kept all their pieces, um, haven't made any big moves. Um, so, yeah, I think that they're going to continue to win the division. I see no other uh, wild card team coming out of here. <laughs> we'll, <laughs> we'll just, yeah, whatever team comes out of here is going to get beaten by <laughs> Red Sox, Yankees, or Astros. Or uh, so, AL West, um, we got Seattle. We got the Strohs. We got the Texas whatever uh, assholes. <laughs> uh, other team. <laughs> LA Angels and the Athletics. Um, so go ahead. You can dive in first into this one. I mean, if I'm going to be simple, short, and sweet, Astros. All right. All now, right. if I want to get into it, Astros are going to have some competition with the Mariners. Yes. With the to Mariners. Me, the Mariners, okay? Oh, okay. Now, you know, Athletics, still a pretty strong team. Um, let's yeah, see. they made it to the to, uh, wild card-wise last year. Yes, yeah, they ended it. They almost had 100 wins. They were at 97 wins. They were really strong. Certainly pretty stronger solid, than yeah, yeah. anybody than the Indians who had 91 wins in 2018 uh, in the Central League AL. But the Mariners... They've been doing some solid trading. They've been doing some solid moves. I think they've created a solid team over their offseason. I'm really excited to watch an Astros Mariners series. I want to okay. see what happens. I want to see okay. what happens. We're gonna be me, but I think it's gonna I think it's gonna be a good game. These Mariners are probably gonna beat out the rest of the, the rest of the teams in that league. Um, but you know, Astros is gonna take it. Astros is gonna take it out of that league. And Mariners are going to get left in the dust by the Red Sox or Yankees because I still think that AL East is going to pull that wild card. So Mariners may have done some work, but they're just in the wrong in the wrong division to do work in. <laughs> yeah, um, no doubt. Uh, you know, uh, Texas Rangers are the worst team in baseball. Uh, <laughs> I hate them. Uh, <laughs> No uh, bias there I, whatsoever. <laughs> I feel like it's going to be LA, man, and Astros. I feel like. Locking in Trout, you put it. You got to put the pieces around him. Um, I, I, you know, Trout with that four hundred and what twenty something million biggest North American sports contract. Thirteen years contract. I mean, that's 
That's yeah, so, um, man, I feel like it's LA and Astros. I think Astros are going to win the division. I think right. there, there's not a team in here that can go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, like in a seven-game series. Um, but I do think that there is another uh, wildcard team in here. Who it is, I'm not 100%, but I'll, I'll, I'll go LA on that. Uh, just because yeah. of Mike Trout, man. Uh, he's an amazing player. Um, I know he's a rival, but man, you 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 respect those guys. You respect uh, the players. You just correct, you respect correct. the game, right? Yeah, no and doubt. So, yeah, go ahead. Trout is a great addition. That or a great lockdown. You know, he's a great asset to the team. You know, is he gonna have the same effect that you know Harper has? Is he gonna have the same effect that uh, Machado has? You know, Trout is a solid player. I mean, no doubt. Not to not to go in. I mean, this might be a perfect segue into the next section, but Trout's probably probably going to be one of the top AL MVP prospects. I mean, no solid. He was he was solid last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bet, you know, but still, you know, you had to you had to do something inhuman to be able to get around Mike Trout. Which no, no doubt. Did. But you know, no, so so let's get right into it then. Um, we're 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 gonna go into our MVP predictions. Um, and you're you're talking AL, so let's let's go into the AL. Do it. So you're saying Trout, uh, Mookie Betts. Who else you got in the fold? All right. If if I'm not going to be biased, it's probably I'm thinking Trout. All around, you know, his numbers are just there. I mean, for for what they select MVP essentially criteria off of, he hits them. Now, the heart and the passion and slight bias that I want to throw in there, Bregman. I, I, you know, I'm right there with you, man. He, I mean, it's almost like, like just every year he just gets better and he better, is. and we love him more and more. Mm -hmm. And it's just he he does so much for the team. I'm so glad we locked him in. Uh, what we got uh, four or five years on him. Um, so I'm glad we got we got him locked in, and I think he is a top contender. I mean, it's it's amazing we're we're considering him up there with Trout, with Mookie Betts. Yeah, with, yeah, no doubt. Know, he's 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 a great asset to the Astros, but also to the American League, and not to mention just the MLB. I am a hundred percent with you. I think those are like my top three contenders too. Is I, I put Mookie Betts first because I feel like he's also getting better and better and more confident and i mean he does a lot of things on that field uh so i, I put mookie up there first because i feel yeah uh mike trout has been outstanding but i feel like mookie's like closing that gap and he's getting better but you're right I, uh, alex bregman has has shown uh the ability that he is getting better and better yeah. so who knows what we could see this year like we've yeah. only seen him get better and better we haven't even seen him capped off so right. but i will throw in um Another uh, MVP that could be possible, another two are from the Yankees, either Aaron Judge or Ooh. Staten, man. If these two guys can stay healthy, which uh, has been a little bit of a problem for them, they could stay healthy yeah. and do the whole season and just continue to stay locked on. Uh, Aaron Judge also, a very young player, you know, he's yeah. only going to get better. So, you know, if these guys can start, you know, hitting them, them out of the park uh, regularly, I think they're going to be in the discussion uh, again. Uh, it's going to be really fun seeing this AL MVP like race because yeah. all these guys are going to cut all. They all want it, you know. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting to see them uh, see them battle it out throughout the season for sure. Yeah, we have a um, lot of really great players in the AL, and that's yeah, that's what makes this crazy a great league to follow. No doubt. And, I mean, you know, to to follow up Bregman as it stands, not MVP material. He has okay. to be continuing on track the way he, he's been on improvement from yeah, no, last year, no. year before. He's been doing great. And then yeah. the year before, I mean, his improvement has to continue. If not, he's not going to get that edge over Trout or Moogie Betts. No, but no, no. And last year he was three, in, he was in the discussion. discussion. Last year he was in the discussion. Yeah, so yeah, this yeah. could be the year where he finally is like seriously. Yeah. Uh, he's got to step it up. He's got to step mm -hmm. it up even more. Yeah. Hey, hundred million, man. A hundred million can probably make you step <laughs> it up, you know. Um, but uh, uh, yeah. Now we're going to the NL favorites. Um, we got a couple of contenders there. Uh, you want to start this on? Uh, hmm. no. I'd like to, I'd like to hear who your contenders are. All let's, right. Let's so, go for it. you know, um, two guys that I really have up there. Um, you know, there's a couple of guys in the in the group, but the two main guys that I feel, um 
are really going to have a great season that now, uh, obviously, Manny Machado coming in with the San, Di San Diego, right? So yeah. Manny, I feel Manny is at home. I feel that, you know, in the that beach weather is going to, it's going to get some out of him, <laughs> right? Because uh, last year, you know, with all the the talking and the rumors and where is he, I, I think he's tripping. He, yeah. yeah, so, <laughs> correct. Yeah, so. Uh, but no, man, I think he's going to, uh, he got, you know, he's going to come in, locked in. He's at home. He doesn't have to worry about that stuff no more. All he has to do is play baseball. So I'm ex I, I think Manny has a really good chance. Another guy is, um, uh, you know, I just mentioned him, Paul Goldsmith, moved to St. Louis. Uh, I feel like he had some great years with Arizona. But now I feel like uh, St. Louis is a fresh start for him. He had some dominant years, and I think this is a time for him that he can really uh, also lock in, get the rumors aside, and freaking um, like uh, do some great play. But Christian Yelich, man, he's one of my favorite uh, <laughs> like overall just uh, baseball players. He doesn't talk much, but man, when he's on the play, he's very ferocious. When he's at bat, he's ferocious. He's emotional. I like that about him. Uh, a lot of people underestimate him because he doesn't like he's not a big you know personality wise guy he's pretty quiet so yeah uh i don't think he gets the attention he deserves but i think man if he can, can stay healthy i think he can have a really good year but you know as of right now i'm going power and i'm giving it to manny man <laughs> all right all right see uh, there's a couple of things you know manny manny machado wasn't on my list here mm. now now I'm not saying he's maybe not in my top five. I only got a little like a top three right now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. I had Goldschmidt as okay. kind of my, my number one contender. I think you're exactly right. I think where he was, what Diamondbacks, it wasn't yeah. doing it for him. It mm -hmm. wasn't. It wasn't. He didn't have the right chemistry. Mm -hmm. Now, now that he's gone to, you say the Cardinals are your pick for the the NL Central. Mm -hmm. I see why you choose that, and it makes sense because I think that it's a better team for him. I think he's going to have the chemistry. He's going to have the the sim the 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 support he needs and him as a player already to me I felt like he was he was already at that level but it he just couldn't shine the way he wanted to and I, I think he can do that at the Cardinals and I, I'm really curious to see how that works. Yeah. How those yeah. dynamics play out for him. Um, now the other player that I had here was Yellen. See my pick was the Brewers out of the central. Yeah true and, true I think Yellick is a strong, yeah, no strong contender in that. Now, you know, still, I think it's going to be up to Goldschmidt right there. But Yellick, because that's 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 why I choose the Brewers. Yeah, no, no doubt. Uh, has a really good chance there uh, uh, for an MVP um, if he can continue to do. He's only 27. You know, only still has room to get better. Mike Trout is only 26. I didn't mention that. <laughs> Mike Trout is only 26, and he got a 400 some million dollar contract. I know. Still a lot of time. Like yeah. so, uh, no. But Yelich, I think he's still in that uh, that area. Still young, uh, hungry, uh, and getting better. So I think he has a really good chance. But yeah, um, that's our MVPs. Uh, and I'm stick, we're sticking to it. Uh, so now we're gonna go straight into uh, championship picks, right? So uh, we picked who we thought was gonna make the division. We, we picked who we think the best players are gonna be. Now, who do we think is gonna end up in the championships? Uh, you know, pick your, pick the two the team from each uh, league and tell me who do you think is gonna be in there? AL, Yankees, Astros. Yankees, I, Astros. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I think that's that's going down to the AL Championship game. That Yankees and Astros. I, you know, it, and that goes with the. I still think that the Yankees are gonna do a little bit better than the Red Sox as long as they stay healthy. <laughs> Please, uh, I think I think we get a great year out of the Yankees. I think the Red Sox come out of the wild card. I think the Red Sox beat the wild card, but I don't think. Uh, the Yankees get beat just yet until they face off with the Astros. That's what's going to happen. Okay. Uh, and then NL, who you got? NL, I got to go with uh, my Brewers pick for the NL Central um, and oh, okay. uh, I think the Phillies. Wow. Okay. <laughs> going Mr. America, Bryce Harper. I see you. 
Um, and who do you think uh, who who's winning that game? Um, you know, if I'm leaning towards the Brewers, uh, mm -hmm. just as a team all around, but man, if somehow Bryce Harper does some sort of magic to the team and everybody else steps up their game, then the Phillies can do it. I, I think as it stands, just Harper kind of you know being thrown in there is great and all, but I, I you know I want to see I want to see what the Phillies how the rest of the team reacts with him being on the team. You know, just like whenever Altuve's in the game, the rest of the Astros are playing well, same thing. All, as When all our teams, when all our guys are healthy, everybody's playing well. You know, if Harper's there and he's doing well, maybe everybody else steps up. If that's the case, if he has that magic, magical influence, then they're going to beat the Brewers. If not, the Brewers, as it stands, I think are better than the Phillies. Um, and who do you think, oh, Bre let's say Brewers make it, Astros make it, who you got? <laughs> no look, look, I've, I've been uh, <laughs> I've advocated that for the last few years the AL championship game to me that's been the World Series that's, yeah. it's been the, no, the top down. two teams yeah. I mean whenever we look at the, the, the top teams in the NL to me it, it it's like a wild card game in the AL it, it's it's not the top teams in MLB it's just the top teams in NL uh, you know I if we were to do the top top, it'd be AL versus AL, and then to me, that's what I see the World Series as. So I think, hands down, no matter what AL team it is, Astros for sure are gonna beat them. If the Yankees get through, they're gonna beat them. If the Red Sox get through, they're gonna beat them. Yeah. All right, I got you. So, um, I'm going. I'm I'm going conservative, man. I think the teams we got last year are gonna continue to be good this year. I feel that they got the farm systems, they got the the players in place. They just got to stay healthy. So, you know, I'm with you that Milwaukee's going to get there. Um, even though, you know, I was picking St. Louis, I, I, you know, talking to you, I don't know, man. I feel like, okay, Yelich, and, you know, okay. I feel like Milwaukee. Don't forget has your a, boy, Yelich, man. <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're right. So I think uh, Milwaukee has a really good chance to get back. But I just cannot. I mean, I know you. you, you, you it's, it seems to me that you're not. You're underestimating them, man. But LA, LA, I feel is going to get back there. Um, if they, like you, like if they could just stay healthy. Same thing. I mean, it applies to everyone. If they can stay healthy. They're back there, and I think they're back at the World Series, regardless of who they come against, up against in the NL. Um, you know, Manny, Yelich, I mean, I think, I think they're on their way to the World Series again. Now, the AO is where it's hard, man. I, mean, <laughs> I feel like, uh, you know, you, uh, the, the Red Sox and the Yankees could play each other a hundred times and they'll be 50-50, right? Like, that's how I feel about those two teams. Yeah. Um, like, any given day, any of them can win. You know, one miss pitch and it it could be game over for the other like it, it's as easy every play is so important with the al especially when it comes to the playoffs so um but if i gotta pick somebody man i'm going boston again man i'm going boston makes it to the al uh, finals the astros <laughs> of course if the astros could stay healthy if they could keep their pitchers healthy their yeah. bullpen healthy which was really what screwed them over was their biggest hole last year was the bullpen They've made moves to shore that up. They got that the young guys from uh, the the minor leagues coming up. Yeah. Who, man, uh, Josh James was freaking incredible last year. I for, do. Uh, but for some reason, they didn't bring him to. Uh, oh no, they did take him to the playoffs. But it was his first playoff experience, you know. Uh, but I feel like, man, if, if the Astros can stay healthy, and you know, going up against a strong Boston team, deep Boston team. Uh, I think the Astros could take that again, and I I, th I think it'll be a repeat of that one championship with the Astros in LA. Uh, two great teams going at it. I got the Astros winning it. Let's go, Astros! <laughs> but no bias, no bias. <laughs> but uh, but yeah. Any final words you want to say about the upcoming season, man? You know, I'm excited about this upcoming season. I think uh, I think we're all excited. Last few years of baseball, we've had really great American League teams. Uh, we obviously we've had some bad teams, <laughs> Orioles, but you know we, we we've had those Red Sox Yankees rivalry come back. We've had you know the Astros doing really well, and we had the the competition with the Athletics last year was great. 
um, and I love beating them. Uh, so I really, <laughs> I want to see our team stay healthy. I want to see our pitchers stay healthy. I want to see a nice healthy rotation. Uh, I don't want McCullers getting injured again. I mean, we, <laughs> we don't want to be dealing with any, anything like that. Um, and one last thing about the, the NL. How about this? I'll give you Dodgers taking the wild card, and they might win their wild card game and get into the NL championship. Oh, okay. The, let's say the Phillies. Okay. <laughs> See, now I, now I like it. Now I like it. No, only but, uh, only because that's that's to help you out. But I, I don't think I, I don't know if they're going to take their division. I think they can get in with the wild card, okay. and they they have a strong playoff game. They have strong playoff game. And you know, um, just like you, man, I'm super excited about this upcoming season. Um, what like we've talked about? Um, one thing that I feel is that the NL has gotten better. You know, the the firepower has always been at the AL. <laughs> Uh, but yeah. I feel like, okay, I, you know, I could probably watch some more NL games this season now that it's gotten a little bit more competitive. LA is not the only team, you know, with the with the big bats. Um, so yeah. I'm excited to see some NL games, just like mm -hmm. AL, of course, those rivalry games. Um, you know, I want to see what Milwaukee and LA do during the season when they yeah. play each other. Uh, I want to see uh, Philly uh, play the Nationals. I want to see Bryce go back to that part. So yeah, man, I'm really excited. Uh, a lot of great matchups, uh, MVP races that uh, we're going to be watching. Uh, this isn't all we're going to be talking about baseball uh, for the Three Way Podcast. We'll be, you know, whenever it's a, a, you know maybe trade deadline, we'll we'll do another one of these episodes just to talk about all the boobs being made. But yeah, we're excited. Let us know on the comments what y'all think. Um, uh, this is our hump day show. We do this every Wednesday, video form only. Uh, you know, follow, subscribe, let us know what y'all think. Who do y'all think is going to take it off? Uh, but yeah, uh, thank y'all for watching. Uh, we're excited. Uh, can't wait to go to the, one of the games and get wasted, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. Who's getting wasted? Uh, we all. <laughs> hump day, uh, three way podcast trip to the game. I'm, I'm in. I'm not, I'm not me. <laughs> yeah. no, we got you, we got you. But yeah, uh, thank you guys. Eli, you got something to say? Uh, R.I.P. No. Gronkowski? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Uh, thank y'all for watching. Uh, peace out. We love y'all. Okay, bye, everyone.